What's up YouTube, this is Matthew here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have the ultimate showdown, PropStream versus Batch Leads. Which is better for your real estate investing needs? On this channel, we talked about a bunch of different real estate data software companies. We talked about PropStream, of course, Deal Machine, ListSource, Flipster, and batch lead. I want to give you all different options that you can use and just compare and contrast all these different data software companies so you can choose which one works best for you and your real estate needs. So in today's video with PropStream and batch leads, we're actually going to pull different lists. We're going to compare and contrast the different features on both platforms and we're going to look into that sold MLS data on both platforms and really look into do they essentially still have both the same information about sold data. So if you all are interested in signing up for PropStream or batch leads, I have links down below. With my links, you get a seven day free trial. And also it just really helps support this channel so I can make some awesome content for you all. So if you're going to sign up with PropStream or batch leads to pull motivated seller lists, find cash buyers, run comps, sign up with my links down below. All right, let's head right into the computer. So number one, we're going to pull a cash buyers list because with recent changes happening with the MLS, especially with PropStream, losing access to sold data, we want to pull that list and compare both softwares, right? Because sold data is the foundation of cash buyers, right? That's where we kind of glean cash buyers from. Number two, we're going to look at motivated sellers list because that's what, who we target in order to find cash buyers to send them these deals. And we're going to compare the two lists, the two softwares within them. We're going to look at comping, right? So comping looks at sold data. And so we're going to see, okay, what sold data does PropStream have? What sold data does batch leads have, right? And then number three, we're going to look at the interface, list quality, value, in my opinion, on the two softwares. All right, make sure you all like this video, subscribe. A lot of you all watch my videos, but are not subscribed. Make sure you all subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions. And once again, check out PropStream link down below and batch leads. So number one, um, let's go to PropStream. We're just, we're just going to do Atlanta, Georgia, and we're going to pull a cash buyers list. Yes, I can go into here and pick their already made filter, but I like to drill down into the filters more to get the juiciest cash buyers, right? And so what we're going to do, we're going to make this a non-owner occupied list. So right now, Atlanta has over 300,000 houses. We're not going to pull all that, okay? So non-owner occupied property characteristics. Make sure you all take take notes. Might go a little bit fast, but residential properties. Um, and then we're going to go to MLS status. We don't want it to be on the market, all right? It can be on the market actually for cash buyers, but we'll just leave it. We'll just we'll just put any. We could put any actually right here. Um, and then we're going to go to ownership information and the maximum amount of years own is one, right? Because we want it to be a cash buyer. Usually cash buyers, um, we want to see the most recent cash buyers who are actively buying properties for cash around the area within the past year. All right. Valuation and equity. We want to put max a minimum equity of 100%. So they own the property outright. Usually if they bought it within a year and they own it outright 100%, then um, the estimated equity is usually 100%. And the next thing we're going to do, we're gonna go back to ownership in, um, information. And we're gonna make sure these are individual owners because we're just targeting them. Boom, and so what shows up was over 1,300 properties. Now let's quickly go to batch leads and I'm going to do the exact same thing using this software. So I'm going to go to Atlanta, Georgia. All right. And then I'm going to filter it down. So Atlanta, um, in batch leads, it pulls up 295. Um, PropStream pulled up around, I think it was over 300,000, like 313. So uh, we want it to be an absentee owner. It can be out of state or in state. That doesn't matter. MLS status, it, any right now. Uh, pre foreclosure ownership information. We want the owner type to be an individual. We want it to be a maximum of one year of ownership. We're going, going, we're going down to valuation. We want them 
the estimated equity, the minimum amount to be 100%. All right. They do have this other tab, cash buyers. If you all want to look at that, um, cash purchase and things like that, you can do that because they do look at the MLS to see if it was a cash um, purchase. Another thing about batch leads is that they have this demographics tab. So you can search people by age, by like religious affiliation, how many children they have, and like their net worth, which is crazy. But let's just stick to this list of cash buyers. Apply and they pulled up 927. So a similar size list, um, PropStream has 1300 and Batch Leads has 927. So if we click on a property, for example, um, here on PropStream, we can look up the information, it has this cash sales tab. So this was bought on the 17th of last month. So they still have this data. And the thing with the MLS sold data on PropStream, they can still pull up the public information which is usually found in um, counties right on, on counties websites on their assessors um, office or, or something like that or they use like other parties maybe Zillow Redfin Realtor I don't exactly know where but no data software whether it's batch leads list source deal machine prop stream none of them have so data for in states mls so data in disclosure states right and we there's a few um disclosure states in america none of them have that information all right you all but you can kind of calculate it and, and and search that up but for right now they still have public record sold data that you can do comparables to um, batch leads if you pull up a property um let me just exit out of this Go to details. You have the property information. You have the sell amount right here, and they have comparable tab right here that you can look into whether you want sold data, active data, and pending. So same type of information. Boom. All right. So now I'm going to just clear this once again, and we're going to look for our motivated sellers list and just quickly compare the two lists, how much shows up on each. So right here, we're going to still do Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome to Atlanta, where the play is. Wait, never mind. I am not doing this. Okay, Atlanta, Georgia. Now we're going to filter it down. We're going to go to um, absentee owner once again. And we're going to look at vacant proper property. So property vacant. Just like that. All right. And then um, we're going to do residential. Um, we don't want these on the market. Ownership information, owner type is an individual. We want them to own it for at least, let's put seven years right here. Valuation and equity, we want them to own at least 60%. All right, apply. 472 properties showed up here. Let's do the same thing for PropStream, Atlanta, Georgia. Go down into filters, uh, non-owner occupied, also vacant properties, property characteristic, residential. I kind of like PropStream that when you're doing these filters, it shows up like how much lower the amount of list goes down, which I think is pretty cool. Um, MLS status, um, not on the MLS. Ownership information, we put a seven years minimum in an individual owner. Uh, valuation and equity, we put, do we put 50%? All right, let me make sure. Uh, 60%, okay. So we put 60%. 579 so PropStream has over a hundred more properties all right so let's go into comping now comping is a big heavy issue with these two data softwares we're going to just look at the same exact properties and see how they compare so we already pulled up a motivated sellers list so this is a non-owner occupied vacant high equity property list all right and so let's just pick i think i have 
um, properties here that we can search. So let's just search this property. And I think I searched it already into batch leads. And we're going to go into the details of this property. So this property was showed up in our last in this in this motive motivated sellers list. And then we're just going to go straight to comparables, you guys. Let's look at the comparables. So comparables and nearby listing. So here, PropStream has the average sale price around 214. And right here, they have all this different um, property information about, look at the status, sold public information, right? Not from the MLS, right? So the status shows up public record sold. And I want to do it by date, like look at the most recent one. So PropStream has three different properties that were sold that showed up on public record that happened last month. So the most recent one they have happened on the 13th of last month. And we're doing this, you know, square footage and a half a mile distance. So 1213, 1210, and this is the price. So let's look at the same house for this property so what we're going to do we're going to exit out of pending and active listings sold in the last 12 months they, they're only looking at built within the past 10 years ignore year built we're not going to look at that uh and then square footage around 10 percent and they put it located within one mile uh, prop stream has half of a mile let me see if i can change it to half of a mile let's do that uh, and then filter that down. Boom. So their estimated equity or value of the property is 221. PropStream is 214. Okay, so similar comp data, even though, you know, Batchley still claims that they have sold MLS data. So another thing that you can do, you can go over here and you can look at sales that happen. So we're going to um organize it from the most recent sold if i can click this little small arrow they have here okay so they have these three properties that happen around the area so they had 180 349 and 250 that happened in december i think the 180 and 250 are in prof stream PropStream has this other property that sold for $76,000. Batch Leads doesn't have that property, right? But Batch Leads has this other property, 939 Division, that happened. And maybe it had to deal with the square footage because this square, well, not necessarily. Hmm, that's interesting. But for some reason, PropStream doesn't have this um, property. Uh, maybe the year built. Also, no, that shouldn't matter either. Um, but yeah, so that's the comping mechanism. They honestly have the same estimated value. They're off by a few thousand. Essentially, anybody who has this property and flips it, they're probably going to list it for $250,000 to $300,000 anyway. So that's comping. To me, they're still similar, even though... PropStream claims they don't have MLS sold data, but they have enough public record sold data. And Batch Leads claim, you know, they still have that MLS sold data, but, um, you know, they, they still have similar values and whatnot. And so now I was just going to talk about my overall thoughts on the platform's interface. I think um, Batch Leads definitely has a cleaner interface. I like the blue tone on it. I think... Um, you know, there's some, you know, quirks here and there, like some small exit, you know, the small exit signs and the different things like that I would have to do. Um, PropStream took a lot for me, a longer time to learn how to operate the software is how everything was laid out. But after a while, I just got so used to it. And maybe it helped me go into batch leads and understand it faster. But batch leads definitely has to me a slight edge over profiting with interface so list quality to me they're similar they're neck to neck and uh, once again if you all are interested in profiting or batch leads check the link down below but to me they're similar uh if you pull either list you'll you'll, you'll find quality list um value um prof stream is listed at 97 dollars a month especially using my link 
down below. <laughs> Batch leads is around $98, and to me, they do similar things. They have similar features. You can skip trace. Of course, that costs extra money, but you can do that. If you want to add more money to your plan on Batch leads, you can send um, text messaging to your um, list and market. You can, on both platforms, send out mail um, and different things like that. So my opinion right now with the two data softwares, I think they're both um, good quality um, data softwares for real estate investors, especially wholesalers. Prostream definitely has an edge over batch leads being, uh, I guess, before batch leads and having a greater market share of real estate professionals especially with wholesalers, with real estate agents, with insurance companies. So they have a bigger audience um, to cater to. So they may have a little bit more filters or a little bit more features to cater to different professionals. Batch lead seems specific to wholesaling, but it still has as many features. Like we just pulled the list. All the features that were on PropStream were on batch leads. Most of, you know, the copying data on batch leads was on PropStream. So they are neck to neck to me, especially in wholesaling. Uh, maybe the slight edge goes to property because they're, they, they've been first in the game and they're the bigger company. That's the only reason. And maybe they have more experience. Maybe um, they can find a way to get MLS sold data. Maybe they have more of a say in the real estate industry and maybe they're better equipped to go against the NAR or, or Realtor Association to get data back than a batch lead. So they definitely have more firing power because they're recently sold to a huge company. So that's another edge that PropStream may have over batch leads. Um, but yeah, if you all are interested, once again, in either one of them, check the links down below. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.